How's it going, everybody? It's Michael from theloftestparty.com. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you're doing better than fine. I also hope you like uh, Greek tragedies, or rather, uh, modern, woke, beer maker tragedies, because cause that's what we got on our hands. This Bud Light situation just gets worse. Every single time you look at it, you can't believe it, but it still continues to go downhill. It's like uh, when your shower won't drain and you're like, is there hair in there? And you pull out a clump and it just keeps coming. It can, you're like, it's got to be done. Oh, and it's nasty. That's what Bud Light's going through right now. <laughs> they can't win. They can't win. They've painted themselves into a corner because uh, a little while ago, they decided to celebrate. <laughs> 365 days of being a woman with uh, with this person, uh, uh, Darren McTucky or Dickie McTapey. I don't know, but people didn't like it. So now their sales are way down, like big time down. The stock is down. They're trying to practically give the beer away. Here's where it takes the twist. Now the gay community, the LGBTQ people plus community uh, is like, hey, you missed an opportunity to stand up for Darren. So now, we don't like you. <laughs> what? Now, the gay community is mad at Bud Light. So they can't, they got no, no one wants their beer. It's like they're, uh, they're like um, that, that dude from The Simpsons who just keeps stepping on the rakes. Hey, do you want our beer? Whack, no. Hey, do you want our beer? Whack. Now, uh, here's Bud Light's plan. They're going to, uh, they're gonna make a camo beer can. Yeah, camo, cause we know all what our customers like. They like hunting. We will make camouflage beer bottle. <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't think it's gonna work. So uh, in the immortal words of, of Nelson from The Simpsons, I would like to, uh, to say, uh, ha ha, that's what happens. I don't know what you're gonna do with all that beer. Maybe, Maybe you could call your friends at Ford and they could help haul it away in their new Ford Gay F-150. That's the apples.